Well, hello there and welcome to the new studio. This is going to be kind of quick and again, I really don't like doing channel updates, but I feel like I'm going to just because it's the new studio. Everything's not perfect yet. I'm still working on a lot of stuff, but I kind of wanted to just show you what it kind of looks like and how it's going to be set up more or less. Now I do have my table back. This was given to my stepson for the time being when I was in the apartment. Now I do have it back. Unfortunately, I did make these holes when I had that background because I was in front of the table at that time and now I'm behind it. But I do have these holes. I have some marks on here I'm going to try and get up and these magnetic strips I'm going to have to get up. But this table, it really serves a nice purpose because I got outlets on the side. It's a nice platform to work on. And yeah, anyway, moving on. We do have kind of the same situation going on behind me here with the She-Hulk and the Dark Dragon. That was how it was kind of set up before. I did have this just mounted here. Uh, this was on the wall actually above the Dark Dragon. Now I just have it sitting here. I don't know if that's going to be permanent or temporary. That's hooked up to the She-Hulk permanently, temporarily right now. And I just got a couple of the 13th, 14th gen. CPU things going on here. This you saw in some of the previous videos. So, and this also was in the previous. Now, one of the things that's going on here is I do have the, the tray down here and I'm looking to kind of make some sort of a skirt or something to cover all of this. So it's not, all the wires aren't exposed. I also have to do a little background, but I picked up a switch. This is an eight port switch. Really, you only get seven ports. I, I hate the way they call them an eight port because your feed in has to take one of the ports. So anyway, it's just a TP-Link. This is the uh, TL-SG608E gigabit switch. And let me tell you a story. So basically when we moved in down here, I do get Wi-Fi, but it's not the best. So the house is brick. I got to go through a floor and some walls just to get the Wi-Fi down here and my speeds weren't the best. I mean, I could get by, but what we ended up doing is going the way with Verizon Fios and now I have gigabit down, gigabit up. And the previous owners did install down here on the floor level a Ethernet, a Cat6 Ethernet cable that comes through the wall but it's only one and I could only run my Synology, which is sitting up on a shelf over here. I have a fireplace, so there's a brick right there. There's a nice electric fireplace and I'll pan over in a second to show you. But I had my Synology up there and I'm like, well, I'm gonna have to buy a switch so I can now power my main PC over on this side, which I have a temporary desk set up. So anyway, we got the switch and now I can hook up everything in this room via cable instead of, or ethernet cable, right? Instead of all of it being Wi-Fi, it's gonna be a faster connection and hopefully less issues. And that's kind of the setup for now until we get started with some more videos. I'm hoping soon, I do have one that might come out maybe before this, maybe after it, depending on how fast I can get it up. But let me just, uh, I guess, pan around and show you a little bit. All right, as we start, uh, you know, obviously that's what you just saw behind me. And I don't know what just fell, something fell. Anyway, uh, we got, I have all my motherboards up here. There's a Synology over there. I have to take care of like this cable management. Don't mind the mess. This is very messy in here still, but we have a uh, fireplace down there. That's where my ethernet was coming through the wall that I was talking about and yeah but i've got a pretty low ceiling in here but it's a drop ceiling tile and oh it looks like i gotta fix one of those tiles up there anyway very very messy still but there is the main pc that is the maker reborn and i have my battery back up and the speakers now those speakers right there were actually hooked up to the she-hulk but since i moved in and i had the desk over here my speakers that i had lg speakers no excuse me uh, logitech speakers when the desk was over here i had to disconnect them 
move everything over to here, and then my speakers just all of a sudden stop working. So I think, some, well, something went wrong in them. So anyway, now I've got those over there and very, very messy. But um, the other thing that was pretty cool is I haven't fully organized everything here, but I put all these shelves in, fully adjustable shelves, which was so great. And basically it's just got the, the um, rails that go up and down onto the sheetrock or mount it to the studs and then you can put these these brackets in and any position i think they adjust within like an inch inch and a half and those are all going so it's all perfect love it i got my pk shirts over there another cabinet over there and this is kind of just the the setup for right now just a quick tour and of course we can see the camera and the camera and the camera and the camera so yeah just a small little about 275 cubic foot or cubic foot uh oh geez not cubic foot what am i looking for 300 square foot square foot <laughs> that's what i'm looking for so a couple of my future goals is possibly to get a monitor mounted here at some point i don't know if i'm going to do anything on this wall over here I do want to get some like one or two cabinets, like the rolling kind of the cheapy cabinets with some drawers that I could put under here because uh, for a few tools and and some other uh, quick connections and stuff like that. And I do also, like I said, I need to get a skirt for over here, but I think we're going to do it in like wood paneling or something, something that I can open up easy and I can mount that TP uh, switch in there and then run my wires. I'm gonna have to buy some tracks for you know the lower portion of the wall or something or on the floor just to run the ethernet cables over to there. Probably maybe one up to this PC, we'll see, and up to that PC and then I gotta go to my Synology. So right now the only thing that's hooked up is my main PC so I can do my editing and stuff like that. And there's another portion I'm gonna take you for, and I'm gonna show you kind of what I did quickly. Yeah, it still needs a lot of work, but it's pretty cool what I did. This is, I'm in my kitchen looking down into the basement. But anyway, this is on the other side of this wall is the family room. And that's where I had the router, I had a modem and all security stuff and stuff like that. So anyway, I made this custom bracket to mount my Asus router. This is the RT-AX88U. And it's, it's a generation or so old, but it's still Wi-Fi 6. And I had to make something for this. So I made this bracket in one hour. It just holds it to the wall. It's kind of nice. But I do have a custom one coming from a guy off of Etsy. And it's meant for this one. So meant for the AC88U and the AX88U. This is the AX88U. I can't remember if I told you the AC or AX. But this is Wi-Fi 6. And we're fully operational here. Now, there is a gap here. And this looks hideous, and I know it. That's because when I cut the hole for this panel that I was going to show you, when I cut the hole for that, what ended up happening is I started to go over and then I realized there's some sort of a cross beam in there. So I had to drop everything. So anyway, I have to fix that and that'll be in due time, but everything's working right now. So this is, now this isn't exactly wire managed in here and I ordered another part so I could get some stuff up and off the floor. I have a security camera system going on here um, this is a uh, 120 volt um, power strip in there. It's got six plugs, so you can put six different things in there. We got three going on right now. And I ordered another tray just like this to sit over here so I can put this thing up here. Because I have my ethernet basically coming up through the bottom of this and then I had to install a surge protection outlet that I basically I got power coming off of these switch it's an attic light switch so I pull power off of this so I can get uh, in there so anyway yeah this is nice and mounted between the studs 
and I just have to do wait for the other parts to get some cable management done and arrange it just the way I want. But I wanted to do a quick little update and show you that that's going on. Now, because I mounted this router in here, there may be a problem with potential calling. So we have this thing in here is actually from Verizon. This is a, a signal booster that works through your Wi-Fi and that enables us to get reception. Basically goes out on a cable right here and to a window. But since I moved the router from the living room into here, now our signal has dropped when I go out in the garage. So my plan, I don't know if it's gonna work, but my plan is to get my old router working again and basically do a mesh system. What I got here is my old router that looks identical to the new router. Now this is the R, yeah, the RTAC88U. That's the RTAX88U. So this is Wi-Fi 5, the other one's Wi-Fi 6, but they're identical. The only thing that's different is the guts on the inside. That's the strangest thing and the color. But anyway, nevertheless, what I wanna do is take this and create a, uh, an, um, a mesh system to where basically my current router is gonna communicate with this and this is going to boost the signal so when I'm out in the garage, I can have this either close to the garage or out in the garage with me. And this signal, my phone will go to this and then this will go to that router and then out to the modem, out to, you know, uh, the internet. So that's my plan. I don't know if it's gonna fully work. I'm kind of hoping, I don't know if, this is kind of the, you know, I, I haven't dealt with the mesh system of things, so I kind of want to get through that and maybe make a video on it, maybe not. It's kind of going to be a video of not knowing what the heck I'm doing, but hey, got to learn, right? I just never did any mesh systems. So I think it's pretty easy, but we'll look into it and uh, get that going. Anyway, that's going to kind of wrap it up. I just wanted to show you what was going on here and the progress. It's been months since uh, I was really able to get in here and get this room situated. I've been in this place for about three months now and but have other obligations and priorities way over making any kind of YouTube videos. So got to understand that anyway. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon next to the subscription button to get notified for any future videos that I do post. And leave your comments, tag a friend. Well, it's not really tag, it's share it to a friend. And until next time, take care.